it's connected with all the games that we ever played, like really old video games, um, or also uh, LARPs, or RPG games, or board games. We've got three types, if I run the words, we've got three types of player. And because of that, we've got three types of uh, scenarios or a whole game. Of course, there's no, no player who is only a gamist or narrativist or simulation. But mostly we're mixing stuff. But when a game is gamistic, so it's gamism, it's based on competition between particip participants. You've got a uh, winnings and losing. You, you could win or lose a game. You could, uh, it includes victory and sense of victory is the main point of the game. More than playing a game, the victory is more important. Strategy is important. If you are, you could win a game because you are good at playing a game. So it's a dance. It's normally, it's connected with fighting cards, buffer large, or uh, with large that you could win somehow. Also, uh, large with discussions, political large, when you could achieve something. Then you've got narrativism. It's uh, based on creation, a character. So, the cre creation of a storyline and live in a storyline for a moment. It's more important than anything else for this kind of player. So you, uh, so you play role play your character and play whole storyline because it's important and gets you a satisfaction. It's not important if your character win or lose, if it die or not. It's important how good the story will be. It's connected with emotions. Plot, mostly setting the storyline, the background of the of the story, and also it's connected with it's funny description here, crying, for example, storytelling, and so on. Then it's simulationism, and it's for players who need exploration to get a satisfaction. They don't need a game who with without uh, transparency. They need a uh, game when they could uh, live or behave like they will be in real in a, this world in a game. So the experience of being in a game is important. Not uh, the whole storyline, not the winning or losing a game, but mainly it's about being a character in this moment. I know simulationists who put an example uh, be a peasant during the game and baking a bread and left all the storyline and left all the winnings <coughs> and stuff. They just having fun because they are in the reality. They behave in the character, in the reality. They do something new. So simulation is, is doing something for real without any semi Semi-solutions. Semi-solutions. Uh, it includes, mostly it includes costumes, a big scenographies and so on. So, it's, it's, of course, all of you could be now thinking, am I, what kind of player am I? Mostly, each of us get all three types, more or less. Some of them are bigger in, our, in ourselves, some smaller. But, based on GMS theory, we could prepare a game. Thinking what kind of, uh, which part is the most important for us as a designer.